tan of 160, we can write this as tan of 180 minus 20, minus 20. If I look at that, that's going to end up in this quadrant over here, because that's 180 minus an angle, right? It's going to end up in that quadrant over there. So this is going to become tan of 20. But we know using the cast rule, maybe I should put it here, C, A, S, T, tan is negative in that quadrant. This is going to become tan of just 20, right? Minus 10, 20. Minus 10, 20. And if that's not theta, that's 20, right? Let me just take it out. That's 20, which is the reduced for. So what have I done? I've reduced the, the function, all right, the trig function into its equivalent form with an acute angle. Again, I put theta there. How did I do that? Okay, so from that there, let me just take it up to the zero there. That's just 20. The next one, now I could also go 90 plus 70 over here. I could go 90 plus 70 over here. And we can, we can come back to that in a bit. Let's go to the next one. The next one, I have the option of going 180 plus 10. Plus 10. That's going to be in which quadrant? The 10 quadrant. Mm -hmm. So this is going to become uh, by the way, this is cos of that. This is going to become cos of 10 negative. But I also have the option of going 270 minus, I have the option of going cos 270 minus 80, 80 right? That'll become 270 minus theta. It's a co-function. So we've got to change it into sine 80. And decide between negative or positive, and cause the original part is is negative in this quadrant, the negative sign eighty. So those two are possibilities for that one. Then you got sine two ninety five, which is going to be sine of two seventy plus twenty five. In the cos quadrant is negative. And it changes into cos because it's a co-function because 270 and 90 are co-function related. Sure. 10, 345, for example, would be 10, 360 minus 15. That's going to be in this quadrant, which is cos quadrant. So cos is going to be negative 10, 15. But remember, you can always have a 270 in there as well. So what happens when you've got 10 of 270? All right, let's have a look at an example like that. Okay, so the same rule is gonna apply for the signs, but when you have 10, it's gonna become? Inverse. Cot, cotangent, yeah. yeah. And 270 plus an angle is in the cos quadrant, so 10 is negative in that quadrant, so it'll be negative cot 75 degrees. The same goes for the first one. First one will become, you can either say you can also have the tan of 90 plus 70. And 90 plus 70 is in the sine quadrant, so it will become negative cot of 70 degrees. So that's 70. Okay. And then lastly, we've got sine. You've got another one for sine, right? Sine can also be, each of them have two. 270 plus 25. It can also be 360. It can also be 360 minus um, 65. And that will stay the same as sine 65. But in, in this quadrant, 360 minus an angle, an acute angle, cos is positive only. So this will be negative. All right.